Thank you. Okay, um, so for people who are new to 12-step fellowships, you know, there's many 12-step fellowships. There's AA for Alcoholics Anonymous, OA for Overeaters Anonymous, uh, there's uh, Debtors Anonymous, Underwriters Anonymous, um, uh, there, there's Workaholics Anonymous, uh, there's Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous, Anorexics and Bulimics Anonymous. Mm -hmm. So for whatever, whatever addictive type frame you have, yeah. there's an anonymous group, there's CODA, Codependence, um, the, okay, Al-Anon, if you've got addictive, so it doesn't matter. But if you're ever feeling vulnerable, or if you're new to addictive, um, ad uh, to 12 step programs, uh, a strong, you know, one, first of all, get a sponsor, like a mentor, take you through the 12 steps, uh, go through the 12 step program. But I have a spiritual routine uh, in 12 step fellowships. And um, here's the thing like, I, I met uh, Dr., Dr. David R. Hawkins. He was actually one of the sponsees of Bill Wilson, the founder of the 12 steps. And what he said was um, certain spiritual meetings and groups have a spiritual vibration, mm. you see. So if you attend those meetings, so let, let's say when I'm in active addiction, when I'm in active food addiction, I have a very low addiction vibration. So if I go to a high vibration meeting, then that will help to pull up my vibration. Mm. So, so I thought, and, and he mentioned like 12 step groups had a very, very good vibration. Uh, you know, more or less the vibration of love. Mm -hmm. You know, it is similar vibration to that of classical music. You know, classical mu most of the great composers are at the vibration of love. And the 12 step groups are at the vibration of love as well. Mm -hmm. So, addiction, I'm low vibration. But if I go into, say, if I do one hour of a high vibration meeting, that's going to help to pull, like a tuning fork. I'm vibrating at a low vibration, between one hour and a high vibration is going to be very, very good. And that vibration of 12-step groups is the, is the minimum vibration that is required to stop the addictive vibration. Mm -hmm. Like, if I was to go to, for example, yoga class, let, let's say I was an alcoholic. I don't drink alcohol, but let's pretend I'm an alcoholic. I'm more a foodie. foodie. But to an alcoholic, if I went and did yoga, the vibration is not high enough. Mm. You know, you need a very high vib spiritual vibration to stop wanting a, a pint of alcohol or a donut or something. Mm -hmm. So if I went to yoga, it has a spiritual vibration, probably not enough. Mm. You know, like TM meditation, that wouldn't be enough. Um, if I went to even, um, even uh, churches, uh, the, the vibration wouldn't be enough to stop, and they haven't got a strong enough vibration to stop addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, go to your local Buddhist uh, group, that wouldn't stop, stop it. But the 12-step uh, fellowships, the vibration is high enough uh, to stop it. That's why you have uh, a large, large numbers of people stopping cocaine addiction, alcohol addiction, food addiction, sugar addiction, or the people addictions. Uh, that the energy field is very strong. I mean, things like A Course in Miracles is even a higher vibration, mm -hmm. but um, uh, enlightened teachers would be even a higher vibration. But generally, like for the average man, like the average man in an average town in London, you don't have spirit, enlightened teachers. Uh, you may not have A Course in Miracles group, um, but 12 step, like Alcoholics Anonymous is nearly everywhere in the world can get to a local one, or if you have a food addiction or, or a relationship addiction, then you can go to those, and they do counterbalance it. So then I thought I had food addiction, and he said that. So I, I've been to a 12-step group every day for the last seven years, except one day. So I'm in spiritual groups every day, every day for the last seven years, except mm. for one day. Like um, today, I have been in four 12-step groups already. I did, uh, you know, I, was, uh, I did two related to money. Mm -hmm. uh, I did one related to relationships, and I did one related to food. Mm -hmm. All uh, without mentioning exact names, I did a four um, for today, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm doing this course in miracles enlightenment group now. So the whole day, and this is the thing of the group energy. You see, because in a in a group energy, if you've got a few people who are higher than you, 
-hmm. who've done more spiritual work than you. Like if I'm an if I'm a overeater, for example, I like sugar, and there's people who have like transcended sugar and reached that spiritual state, mm -hmm. and they're in the meeting. Me being, I'm sort of being connected to their energy field and their connection to God. So that's going to be the exact medicine I need mm -hmm. to to you know if I to be in those energy fields or later on if I have a good energy, I can be of service to those who 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 haven't got that energy field. Like I remember, like Hawkins. You see, here's the great thing of going to groups where there are people who've transcended your problem. So whatever your problem is, like if I if I'm an alcoholic, if I go to a group of people who done the spiritual work and transcended alcohol to God, it's very good to, for me to pick up that vibration from them. Mm. Like, uh, like Hawkins, I've let go of 23 illnesses, you know, like life-threatening illnesses. He had gout, that's a painful affliction of the feet. I had gout, I met him, all my illnesses were gone within a few years, you see. So hence, you see, the thing of you pick up the energy from the teacher. You yeah. see, so if you're ill, you should meet people who've transcended illness. Mm -hmm. If you're an alcoholic, you should meet alcoholics who've transcended. Or if you have relationship problems, you should meet someone who's transcended relationship problems. Yeah. And then you pick up their energy. You see, it's, it's much better than just reading a book, mm -hmm. you know, just to be in that energy field. Um, but in terms of a, a re my spiritual routine on a daily basis, so I, in the morning I pray. Uh, I do 12-step prayers, like the step three prayer, the step six prayer. Um, I do uh, I do Course in Miracles lessons, like I pray from, you know, uh, I do Hoponopono, uh, Course in Miracles, Cancelling of Beliefs. Mm -hmm. um, and um, then after that, I sit down, I read my Course in Miracles lesson for the day. This is what I do in the morning. And then I put five minutes on for for... Uh, meditation, which is like feel the feelings observer type thing for five minutes. And then I'm, I'm on the day, and because I'm going to 12 step meetings, I will, um, I write a step 10. The step 10 is like spiritual inventory, looking at my part. It's this a 12 step thing, but have I been selfish? Have I been dishonest? Have I done anything? Have, have I picked up a resentment? Have I been seeking myself? looking for myself in something outside of myself. So it's a lovely spiritual inventory process mm. to be accountable. Uh, so I write that on, on, my, on my mobile phone on the tube to the 12-step meeting and I write a gratitude list about 12, 30. I'm grateful for my lovely father, I'm grateful mm. for, for, uh, I'm grateful for the loving parents I've had, you know, I, I put all this gratitude mm. in. And I've done that for years. Um, Go to a 12-step meeting, you know, like if I go to a food meeting, like I say, I'm now nine years abstinent from food. I haven't had, you know, essentially I haven't had body obsession or food obsession for many years. So I share that energy of transcendence by getting a connection to God. This craving for sugar and, and obliteration, all addiction is obliteration from the negative feelings to get yeah. the comfort from... Some people like to watch TV for hours and hours. Some people mm. like to eat donuts. Some people mm. like to have alcohol. Some people like to mm. have drugs. Some people like to get into the next relationship as mm -hmm. quickly as possible so they don't have to feel. Mm -hmm. You see, so there's so many different uh, addictions, workalism or, or debting, or over shopping, you know, all kinds of things. But so, so I share that energy field uh, and um, be in those groups. And they also, here's the thing, with, if you want to get well, if you have an addiction or you're suffering, like every situation, every person you meet has a vibration, every different, you know, if you're going to listen to classical music, it's probably going to have a very high vibration. If you're going to listen to gangster rap music, you know, so once I was exposed to Dr. Hawkins teaching, like every person has a vibration. Every music has a vibration. Every group has a vibration. Like a, 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 you know, like a rave club mm -hmm. is going to have a low vibration. Yes. You know, a classical concert is going to have a high vibration. Mm -hmm. But a twelve, you know, twelve-step groups have a very high vibration. Mm -hmm. A teacher of enlightenment has an amazing vibration. Mm -hmm. You see, so, so, but then if I'm going to go into the, into a park, it's actually very, it's neutral. 
Yeah. It's not actually, it's not, it hasn't got a very high, it's, it's, it's a neutral mm -hmm. vibration, not low or high. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you go into like a 12 step group, like if I have, if, I'm, if I was a cocaine addict, mm -hmm. if I just sit in the park every day, I'm probably still going to be a cocaine addict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's nice, but you know, but if I go into, if I'm a cocaine addict, I'm not a cocaine addict just because I'm filming, but yeah. if I was a cocaine addict, and I went to a, a rave club, I was probably still going to have them. You offer drugs all the time. Yeah. So it's a low vibration. But if I go to like a, like a, a drug fellowship, I'm probably very quickly not going to be taking drugs. Or in, if I go into these enlightened states, I won't need to take drugs because I'll, I'll transcend it. So, mm -hmm. so then I, you know, like just walking on the street is like neutral. So, but then I knew that if I was in the highest vibration energy every day, then that's going to be very, very helpful for... Because if I sit in the street for like one hour, mm -hmm. that's neutral vibration. Mm -hmm. If I sit in a spiritual group for one hour, that's like a very supportive vibration. If I was to sit in a rave club for one hour, then it's, you know, even if I had a good vibration, it might try and pull me down. Mm -hmm. Also the same with people. Uh, you know, like, uh, you know, um, if before, um, if I make it up, if, you know, like people are going to 12 step for, most of their friends are addicts, or, yeah. you know, or most of their friends might like rave music and drugs. Mm -hmm. So if I want to keep around with people with that kind of vibration, it's not that helpful. If I'm going to have new spiritual friends, uh, that's more helpful if I'm going to be spiritual. But the pre praying is a nice thing, uh, meditating is a good thing, mm -hmm. gratitude lists, spiritual inventory. But I do those every day. And here's the thing, for anyone who's new to addiction, it's like developing, this is my thing which I say in terms of developing a spiritual routine is really, really good because, mm -hmm. you know, once you get a routine in place, like every day in the morning, pray and meditate. Or I do Course in Miracles as well. Like 12 step tools, to do a gratitude list and write some spiritual inventory. Like look at yourself, have you been selfish, dishonest, fearful? Uh, that's a good thing to do every day. Um, and uh, going, being in a 12 step group, you know, I, I do that every day. Um, but that's also going to be good or, you know, choose the highest. Because once you're aware that everything has a vibration, and if you want to be at the highest vibration possible, mm -hmm. it was kind of like very, very clear. Like I can't listen to, like I, I could never listen to rap music now. Once I saw, because you can measure the vibration, there are certain methods where you can see mm -hmm. what a vibration is. As soon as my con consciously, I knew like classical was very high, mm -hmm. and I knew this type of music is very bad, yeah. then like I can't like choose to listen to it any longer. Yeah. Because for me, it's like I want the highest vibration to actually listen to that mm. is like I can't do it any longer. I want the highest vibration music all the time yeah. and I want to be in the highest vibration groups. I want to read the highest vibration books. Mm. I want to have the highest vibration friends. So that's uh, the thing, you know, and, and getting the, but on a daily basis because when, you, when you're around low vibrations, they so, there's a temptation to be pulled back mm. into these things. If, I'm, if I've transcended, if I go to like 12-step groups where everyone has transcended sugar addiction, but then I'm going to spend the day in a cake festival with all my old, <laughs> with all my old friends that go, Sabir, let's go, there's a good cake festival on in yeah. London, and all my friends who are very, very big say, you should come with me. If I say, if I say yes to that, and yeah. I spend the whole day in the cake festival, <laughs> then, you know, my, vi my vibra there's a te possibility my, va va my vibration may drop. Yes. So I'd rather be with my friends who are like, you know, we don't do sugar any longer, mm. and let's, let's go listen to some, uh, Bach, there's a Bach uh, concert on later on today, yes. and, um, oh, and there's a lovely spiritual, there's a spiritual teacher of enlightenment coming to London, we should do it a bit later on, and uh, so that's, so that that the vib I want the higher vibrations now because I'm now conscious. I was before, I would have no idea. I was what's no it's a cake festival good, uh, you know. There's a spiritual thing that's but I didn't have any. Diff 
I didn't know that one would be good for me and that another would be actually destructive. I had no discernment. Mm. So then it's like to the ego, it's like, well, mix it up, you know, let's have some rap. Let's do some, <laughs> let's do some, let's do some, you know, let's have some chocolate and then yeah. let, let, let's do, let's do some meditation and then have some more chocolate mm. to reward myself because I had the meditation. So it's, it's, I'm unconscious that everything, everything is a choice, but you're unconscious. But now, if you know that the Bach is a very high vibration, and you know that everything has a different vibration and you choose, now I'd be choosing a lower vibration once I'm conscious of it. Mm. Or if I go, if I have a choice to go to a spiritual group or I have a choice to, even now for me, it's like even just to sit, I mean there's nothing wrong sitting in the park, but I know like that's neutral. Mm -hmm. it's, it's lovely to sit in the park, but then if I had the choice between sitting in a neutral environment or sitting in a, highly charged spiritual environment for what for an hour yeah. like now I can't sit in the neutral environment like my head is like no like that's neutral and this enlightened teacher is in here in London I can't just sit in the park for one hour mm. I have to choose the enlightened teacher yes. so so my whole consciousness changed once I was aware that everything every person every music every group, every book has a different vibration. And even this thing of like, this idea of just having, uh, what do you call it, like diversity, like a, a mix, but I can't, I can't even do a mix. Mm -hmm. I don't want the bad stuff. I don't want the low stuff any longer. I didn't want to do like one hour of Beethoven and let's mix it up with one hour of rap music. I just mm -hmm. don't want to do that. You know, it's like, no, I can't do the rap. I just want high, high all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so it becomes very thing, and I don't regret that. But it's like this thing of naivety. It's like I'm very, very conscious mm -hmm. of the books I read, the music I listen to, the people I associate with, because it's a choice. Mm -hmm. Whereas before it was an unconscious choice, now it's a conscious choice. And here's the, the other thing, is that when you choose the highest vibration music, the highest vibration books, Course in Miracles, Enlightened Teachers, if you're in addiction, 12-step groups. These are very, very high vibrations. Mm -hmm. But when you're in high vibration, um, everything, you know, you, you, you're in, it's like a magnetic field that will bring only good stuff to you and protect you from the negative stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's an energetic vibration. When you're listening to these vibrations, you're like, caught up in an energy field of the universe. Yeah. So it's like you're protected, you see. When you listen to these things, you tune into an energy field and you don't feel like doing the disruptive stuff. Yeah. It's not just thinking, but that energy field, you start to vibrate at that energy field and you start to be attracted to things correlated to that energy field yeah. and you don't like, and you start to not like anything that's a lower energy field. Mm. So the more you stay with one energy field and go to higher energy fields, you're protected. It's like you become, there's no attraction to the darkness, to the negative, mm. to the addiction. Yeah. So I want to be always tuned to the highest spiritual vibration yes. because it's also a protection. Mm -hmm. so, so it's also a thing for me, like if I was to choose a day in a very dark energy field, mm. like a like a, a, a cake fest. No, cake festival. But if you're an, if you're a, a sugar addict and you're going with sh sugar addicts to a cake festival, mm. it's just everything is wrong, yeah. you know. Or, yes. but uh, but certain energy fields are are addictive by their nature. The attention of these things is addictive. I don't know. Like rave clubs for me would be like. There's just, a, you know, if your intention is to go and to listen to that vibration and to be with all the drug dealers, um, you know, it's just, it's just like, it's just, it's just a very negative, the whole energy field, what's attracted and the music and the vibration and the people and the whole energy field is like imp drawing you into this vibration yeah. of destruction and negativity and addiction and escapism and just <clears throat> very bad. So, you know, so I have to be very conscious. And, and this is also something, you know, like if, if you're coming, if you've been in addiction, you know, to have this consciousness, you know, to choose life, it's very, very difficult in the beginning. Because if, um, if you're 
like a sugar addict or an alcoholic or whatever it is, you know, in the beginning there's a huge attraction to keep going to these people, places and situations and to want to call the people who are associated with that vibration to be in the areas that you associate with those vibrations, um, to do the addictive behavior, the cakes, the alcohol or, or the relationship type behaviors in those things, but you know, try and try and you know it's like the old saying stick to holy company mm -hmm. stick with holy music stick with holy environments and then this will like that. that that will then it's like a magnet as you mm -hmm. as you keep your your vibration synced because now your vibration is tuned to very low vibration when you come into uh, uh, the 12 step fellowships but you know you have to like tune your radio station even though you don't like it, you're on like rap music FM, you know, and you want to stay at rap music FM and uh, or heavy metal FM, but you now want to go to like classical FM. Yes. You know, it's, it's not it's not an advert for classical FM, but but uh, you know, it's so it's like you want to you want to just like it's going to be difficult, but you know everything that's connected with classic FM, like my life has to resonate, and then you'll get well quickly. But if you'd like do like one day classic FM, one day heavy metal FM, one day classic FM, one day rap music FM, it's going to take longer because mm -hmm. you're vibrate, you're switching vibrations yes. uh, quite regularly. So I'm I'm very much like doing my Course in Miracles lesson, praying, meditating, going to twelve step group, the uh, Course in Miracles groups, enlightened teachers, all of these things and the consciousness of, you know, like, it's a choice. Even when, you know, Dr. Hawkins actually, you have the difference between the, you know, like, classical music, pop music, rap music, you know, different spiritual groups, like 12-step groups are higher than, like, a yoga class, mm. you know. Once I knew that, I didn't know that before. Mm. Like, if I spend one hour in a, a Course in Miracles group or a 12-step group, it's a very high spiritual vibration. Mm -hmm. But like, one hour in a yoga group, it's just a moderately, it's not, it's not that great, mm. you know, so, but now I'm, I'm consciously can make a choice, Yes. you know, and actually a park is neutral, mm -hmm. you know, and I think if you go to like 12 step groups, 12 step groups, I have to say, are extremely powerful, people aren't aware how powerful they are, I, like I wrote a book, Bulletproof Peace, mm -hmm. and I have a chapter on 12 step groups, I'm kind of subtly encouraging people find a group that that you can belong to. I can't say it overtly because you know the the thing with these groups is you should have that thing to join them. But I'm kind of saying like if you can there's so many of them if you can find one that you belong to you should do it. And this is my thing to everyone even like a lot of normal people may be watching this video. Mm -hmm. Like you know you might not be an alcoholic or a drug addict but um like, you know, there's things like Workaholics Anonymous, or Under Earners Anonymous, or Debtors Anonymous, mm -hmm. or there's relationship ones, you know. A little fear, something on fear. Well, you see, the 12 steps, all the 12 steps, you see, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, all the 12 steps counteract fear. Mm -hmm. So, uh, fear and resentment, uh, jealousy, uh, all of this, guilt, mm -hmm. shame of, of your deeds. It's all part of the 12 step process, but you need like yes. a, a behavior or an addiction to get you in, but you know, like, I think um, there's coda. I mean, I, I mean, I think like eight million coda. I mean, like, uh, uh, probably uh, I, I shouldn't really say, but probably nearly everyone in the planet could join coda. You know, like, absolutely. Uh, so you don't have to like, like most people say, no, I can't do that because I'm not a real alcoholic. I haven't really got a problem with food, so I don't belong there. But. I mean, most people get needy in relationships. Uh, you know, there's you know, there's things. You know, there's there's groups. Yeah. You know, there's love addicts. Uh, you know, and various other things. Mm. You know, get getting a lot into fantasy, uh, love addiction, feeling really bad at the end of a relationship. Mm. So there's there's things like that. Um, Al-Anon. If you've had parents who've been in addiction, or you have a, a relationship with an alcoholic or something, you could you could go to that. You know, like, I think Under Owners Anonymous is like a cool one. Mm. Like, everyone could probably has money issues or something. Mm -hmm. you know, could, but the 12-step process of, like, 
having a, a, a spiritual inventory, all your fears, all your resentments. As step nine is like making sure your spiritual conduct is rectified and you're, you've made appropriate restitution for anything you've done that you feel guilty about. Yeah. And that can stop addiction. Mm -hmm. Like you go to your yoga class, a yoga class for me won't stop a cocaine addict from taking cocaine. Yeah. You know, like you tell a cocaine addict, sit in the park for one hour every day. After a year, they'll still be taking cocaine. You tell a cocaine addict, in my view, go to church every day. Mm -hmm. You tell a hundred cocaine addicts to go to church every day. A lot of them will still be taking cocaine at the end yeah. of the year. Mm -hmm. you, you, you tell alcoholics, uh, cocaine addicts, sugar addicts, to get, you know, a reasonable percentage will stop. Mm -hmm. There's so much power in these 12-step groups. Enlightenment is a higher vibration, but you need an enlightened teacher. You don't, find, you know, enlightened teachers are very few and very hard to meet. Yeah. So unless you're living, unless your sort of father is an enlightened teacher, <laughs> you can say, Dad, can I just sit around with you yeah. for an hour today? You know, like Buddha's your, your uncle or something. Uh, you probably need a 12, 12 step group. Or, you know, Course in Miracles groups, you know, if it's a nice Course in Miracles group, you can go as well. So that's the thing with, you know, being attracted, you know, what I'm saying is like, if you're joining a twister group where you're ill, like choose the vibrations consciously throughout the day. Mm. Because like, uh, I had this thing early, like I, I remember I joined the, a food fellowship, 12 step fellowship for food some, was it 10, 11 years ago. And um, I remember like, you know, before then I was like, the sugar was calling to me, the chocolates, the donuts and all that. I remember once going to a 12-step group for food yeah. and, I would, and I was going to go to the supermarket straight afterwards to get my sugary because <laughs> I do that every day in the evening I go to the supermarket uh, there and it was to get a bag of donuts mm -hmm. a bag of I love donuts and uh, it was like a treat you know, the other day and I went there, I've been to this 12-step meeting I went to the thing and I went to the aisle where the donuts are and I couldn't pick it up I saw it, I looked at it and then I walked out of the supermarket, and then I realized that it was like a, it was like a miracle, mm -hmm. and, and like my ego didn't understand it. I couldn't pick up the mm. couldn't pick up the donut bag, mm. so I just walked out, and then I'd just been to this food meeting. Mm. So that the power of 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 just being in that energy field. Obviously, there's people in there who've been years and years without eating sugar. Yes, you know, and they have that spiritual connection, and they've they've transcended that vibration of that weakness for the temptation for mm. sugar. Mm. You know, there's temptation for sugar, temptation for alcohol, mm. the temptation for bad relationships. Mm. When, when you're in those things, there's so, there's so much power in them. So I knew that it's a strong vibration. So it's like, and then for me, I was so ill, I had so many illnesses, so many addictions, and I had this, this near-death spiritual experience. So mm. I knew then, and once I saw Hawkins research that everything has a different vibration. Once you see that everything has a different vibration, you see the numbers, yeah. it's very difficult to choose something low. Mm. It's very, very difficult. Like if I know that the Course in Miracles is at the level of enlightenment, and I know that, say, uh, most of the spiritual authors are like 300, mm. and uh, even, um, you know, uh, three, 400, like even to choose a book which is at 500 mm. is like, you know, I don't, I don't want to read it. I want like levels of teachers who are at least enlightened. So I can't read the, the low vibration books now because mm -hmm. I want the highest. Like, um, uh, so I love, I, love, I love all the enlightened teachers, especially of course in miracles mm. and teachers who focus on the enlightenment side of things. Yeah. But for the addiction, sorry, on 12 steps, you know, the 12-step uh, the fellowships are very good. The big book is a very good book as well. Any questions? We're on yes. camera at the moment. I've got a question, yep. Savia. Mm -hmm. And it's regarding to um, with vibration. Yes. Suppose um, you've got somebody, um, you're an addict, and you live in a home with probably a partner or a relative, you live in the same house as an addict. As an addict. Yes. And they are doing stuff that you you so 